Hey guys, it's Briz coming back with another video today. My monthly or bi-monthly upload. I know I'm really slacking on that stuff. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday out here in Michigan. It's a beautiful day, just slightly windy. Uh, I'm trying to find a good spot where I can get some bass on without disturbing anybody. But uh, anyway, we're coming back at uh, with the DD 9912s back there, two of them. Uh, before I get into the basin and stuff, I want to go over like the basis of the system and stuff and what I have done and what's wrong with it and what people are going to bitch about in the comment section because that happens a lot. Even though I've explained it in my previous videos, I'm going to do this now. And then uh, another thing is, is uh, I've gotten over 100 subscribers, so that's pretty awesome. I'm surprised I even got over 100 subscribers or people even like and subscribe because my videos are just chopped up, messy, not much effort and it's something I should probably do is put more effort into them because uh, I like doing the YouTube stuff it's uh it's a good time so back to what I was uh, talking about here is uh so we're going with a red top Optima excess power d1200 these are my distro blocks right there and um, I got a sound cubed 8k and like I said, people are going to bitch about this because I only got those two batteries and I'm running a stock all right now because the high output one I had took a shit on me. And I know it's terrible. Uh, I got a voltmeter here. Like I said, we're currently at 13 volts and um, it, it drops down into 9 volts. Okay. I know. Disgusting. Deplorable. You should just behead me right now it's that bad I understand but I don't care I know the dangers I'm running into my amp could potentially fry I know that you don't got to tell me that so I'm gonna send it anyway I don't care it's lasted this long so why not and another thing is the port extension I made so this whole video is about a port extension that I put onto the box hopefully this latch works okay my trunk latch doesn't work anymore I have to open it manually. Anyway, um, so there's my extension. There's a shitty L bracket. Nothing lines up, right? So I, I built this extension with the purpose of uh, putting it on the box in the car and testing it out first. So there's no ceiling or anything. The port extension is just butted up to the side of the box. There's no glue, no silicone, and I got that little L bracket in the front holding it and then there's one piece of wood with two screws on the back of the port holding it onto the box so I shit you not there's a total of like three screws holding the port on and a lot of air leakage and a lot of efficiencies just going out the window but <laughs> I think that's just the staple to what you're gonna see in this video on how obnoxious it is I cannot believe the amount of output and the amount of air it's moving so with all that being finally said, we can get right into it, and uh, after that's done, go somewhere and have some PBRs, I guess. So, yeah, let me pause it quick, get a song queued up, and let's do it. All right, so we got queued up here. It wants to be a little easy on the volume dial. I'll try to show you guys the stuff, floating shit, whatever. But I know my engine light's on too. Thank you. 
song or cut out? I'm telling you, the amp's loving that. It just cut out like three times. It's fine. It's fine. I can't imagine the dirty ass signal those subs are just eating right now. Just pure square wave. It's gotta be. Um, let me try this other song and see what happens. I had a song that would like almost float this microfiber in the window. I mean, that's not like a plastic bag. That's a microfiber towel and it's chopping that thing in the window pretty good. So let me cue up another song. This is the other one I had. So I'll have to try it out. I had the Heisenberg decaf 22 hertz song, but it's not downloaded on this phone. And I'm just using this phone for music and my good phone to record, so. Let's see, man. All right. I guess I ain't gonna be able to do it. I don't have enough amperage. Definitely not enough amp hours in my batteries. I'm definitely sucking them down and using, utilizing all that top top voltage they have but look at that right people bitch and whine about running the amps right in the dirt i understand that that's not good but it's impressive what these amps can take you know and that's probably some chinese board that sound cubed ak amp it's like a 450 dollar amp maybe five six hundred there's no way that's a korean board at the very least, it might be Brazilian, but... Anyway, man, like... Like I said, they're just tough. Uh, the main factor that kills amplifiers is uh, vibration. That's why I got them mounted in the back there, not on the box. Vibration is a big killer and stuff. But hopefully that was enough to show just the potential of 212s with the dirt, nasty, low tuning. That's something I didn't bring up, Bob. Uh, the box is originally tuned to 32 hertz. It's a four inch wide port, 13 and a half inches tall. Uh, it's a little over four cubes internal volume. The port itself is almost about a cubic foot of displacement. And so basically the port exits the side of the box and then I added that additional extension that goes all the way to the front of the box. So that's adding like another 25 inches. So I got about 50 inches of length four inches wide that gets you to like 23 and a half hertz so <laughs> it's pretty rowdy i mean it's cool i don't know if i want to keep it this way the musicalness of the box is definitely just tossed out the window especially with like when i'm listening to rock and metal and stuff and you got the kick drums banging they're really boomy sounding it's just muddy not that it's great sounding anyway with a ported box but it's significantly worse so maybe you could leave a comment on this video guys leave comments i don't care much about likes you don't have to subscribe blah blah blah. just comment tell me what you think tell me what you want to see i mean i love interacting with the comments and seeing what you guys have to say and uh let me know should i add that port extension on permanently and like secure it or should I just take it out and leave it how it is? I'll show you how it's mounted now that I got the car shut off. It's terrible. It's something, look at this. This, that's holding the backside. And there's like little, uh, those keep my boxes from slide, my box from sliding around in the trunk. These little 3D printed pieces I made. So that's holding the bottom of it down there. This is all on the top. Like I said, nothing fills the gaps. Rattles. It's terrible. Get this chunk out of the way. And the only thing holding the front 
it's like I got two screws and I was only able to get this one in at a sideways angle like that. And that's holding it. But nothing's holding the top up here. It's disgusting. Deplorable. Terrible. I'm a disgusting human. But that's it. I think this video is way longer than I was expecting it to be with not a whole lot of bass and just me fucking saying shit. But you know, that's what you get sometimes. Um, that's how it is on the YouTube sometimes. The unedited. This is the raw footage. Dude, it is so nice out. And I'm like having such a good day. So, I'm going to end the video off here. Get the sun out of the face. Uh, I'm having a good day. You should have a good day too. Uh, I'm going to upload this like when I'm done filming it. So, it's Sunday, guys. If you're watching this on Sunday when it comes out, I mean, have yourself a wonderful Sunday. Talk to family. Say hi. Tell them you love them. All that good stuff. Um, future content, I don't know. Like I said, I don't do this much. I would love to keep doing it. Uh, and not just uh, car audio stuff. I need to expand my horizon into more stuff. You know? But with that being said, guys, Thank you uh, very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say in the comments. So, have a good day. I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, it's uh, Briz here, coming back at you with my monthly or bi-monthly uploads, you know. I'm not really good on that stuff, but uh, anyway, it's another video about my DDs, my two DD9912s back there. Uh, kind of like an update video and stuff, and before I get into the basin and showing you what I've done, um, fuck.